Hey guys, how we doing today? Welcome back to the Joy of Resin. We are doing some larger pieces tonight. Uh, first test run with the new snail mold. I don't want to turn it upside down. Be uh, can you see that? So, snail. Uh, down in the head, we have our last preserved dandelion. Got some uh, string lights in there and a couple of seashells around the curve of the shell. And then we're doing our big skull votive holder. And this one has a, uh, this is like a fake fabric flower down in the face. And then more string lights around it. I am using deep pour epoxy for these. Will not have enough to finish these off, but that's okay because since I'm using the string lights, I do prefer to have an opportunity to layer these. So we're going to see how things go. So I'm going to start with pink, then we got purple dye, pink dye, and a little bit of uh, blue mica powder. So I'm going to start with the pink. This doesn't give me a lot of room to work. Especially this big fucker. Okay, I'm trying to keep you guys in camera. Alright, I'm going to start with the pink straight down the head, pouring gently so that hopefully I don't mess up that dandelion. those little eyeballs so that bubbles will release okay Maybe just a little bit of this blue Oop. Okay, all right, let me move you off to the side. Okay. I'm not usually standing for this, but these molds are so tall that, you know, I kind of have to. All right, so again, for the pink, for around the flower, I wanted to use the lightest color I got for the flower itself. Giving it a squish. Trying to let it get down all in there. All right.
Really hoping that flower just doesn't come out completely mangled. Kind of stuck it in a tight spot. Hey, Macarena. So I really want this blue to be mostly around the core. <clears throat> so it can work as like a detailing for the rest. Just throw in a little bit of texture behind the uh, the other two colors. I don't think I mixed that long enough. Wrong hand. Alright, now just to finish these off with the purple. Okay, all right, those are done for now. Nothing left for me to do except put these on the heat mat and leave them alone for about 24 hours. So probably come back tomorrow night and finish these puppies off. So let me, well, I'll let you guys go. That way if I drop them and it's a terrible mess, you don't have to know about it. I, I have lights in there. I don't need to add glow in the dark. That would be excessive. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining.